Okay, this is my video review of my new Claymore. Um, this is the main body. Um, made out of PVC pipe. Top part's three quarter inch. Bottom part's half an inch. This hole is for the nail or trigger mechanism, which was tied to a string to be tripped over. That nail holds the bottom part on. Very painful. Um, the slight curve there is to stab it into the ground. Works fairly well. You already used it. That's where the spring and the plunger and the babies go. And then that hole. Um, it's about eight inches long. Um, it's not bad. Okay, next we have our. This is a 45 degree elbow. Um, it's got a screw inside keep the plunger from coming out um, couldn't I lost a, I already lost one of those so I decided probably be best not to lose another um, next we have the plunger which is made out of six pennies and they're just wrapped with wire tape um, works fairly well just gotta make sure they're semi slick to come out the barrel Next we have the one single penny which will go into the bottom of the main body which will keep the spring from going any farther. This is the spring. It's pretty heavy duty. Got out of one of my airsoft guns that broke. Um, it's nice. Fits in there fairly well. Next up is the nail. Um, probably change this out with a uh, some other sort of device that'll keep the spring in there. And finally, last but not least, the BBs, six millimeter airsoft BBs. I'll be using point twelve for this uh, style because I have a surplus of point twelve and point twos are too expensive. Um, so this is basically how you put it together. Got your main body here. You're gonna put your single penny inside. Drop it in there just like that. Gonna make sure it's in there. Throw the spring in there. Um, bounces around. And this is the plunger. It just goes right on top of the spring. No connection. Gotta make sure it goes in there. Make sure it's wobbled. Make sure it can come out. If it doesn't come out, then your claymore won't work right. So it's in there. Um, it's your main body here. There's the 45 degree elbow goes on there, right like that. It's pretty much what it looks like when it's assembled. The nail goes right inside that hole there. It's pretty much all done there. Now we're gonna load it up and test it for you. Oh, I gotta grab my loading rod here. Um, just a rod I got off of a whole telescope I had actually. It's working on a gun there. Push the spring down and slide that nail in there. I recommend sliding it in pretty far so it doesn't come out because the last time I tried this. Pour some BBs inside. Apparently it's very touchy. Touch the nail and it popped in my face. So we're going to put the nail in there. Throw some BBs in there. Um, next, we're going to have to set the nail to tripping position. And this apparently isn't going to work, so I'm going to have to remove the 45 degree elbow. Jam it down there now. Get it nice and tight. Take the nail out. Just barely put it in there. You just got to make it good enough to hold it in there, but not too tight because you want it to trip very easily. Put 45 back on. And then we're going to test it right here. This is what happens. This is only four or five BBs. Pull it out. Just trying to be very careful. This works pretty good. Um, I had a lot of BBs flying around my room after that. Pretty much comes out. All the springs, everything. It's pretty much how it works. Um, I'm going to make six of these devastation on the battlefield. I haven't fully tested it yet. I don't have my string yet. 
still a work in progress. Um, that's my video, Rue. Thank you.